Hey, what's going on guys? Today it's Anza here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Sony's new PS5 and all the information that we have on it. Um, initially, I wasn't going to make this video because I was like, you know what, a bunch of other people are doing this already. Um, I'm sure you guys can find more information anywhere else and I'm sure you still can. But I dug through Twitter recently and it's currently 1am and I had the sudden urge to film this. So this is what we're doing. Um, so let's dive right into this. I know you guys are just as curious as I am, so I'm going to give you all the information that I have gathered, and then hopefully I'll give you a better idea of what to expect, really. Um, so first and foremost, all the pictures are going to be right here that I'm talking about. I have my computer right here. Uh, that's my first thing, too. So Sony and PlayStation actually tweeted, um, I think it was yesterday, I don't know when you guys are seeing this video, but it was a couple days ago anyway. They um, tweeted the new PS5 controller, which is called the Dual Sense. Now, this right here, I have a PS4 controller. This is a Dual Shock, and then this is the Dual Sense. So you can see some differences right off the bat. This one is actually shaped more like an Xbox controller, in my opinion, and a lot of people are saying that as well. Um, this one's more i guess you could say straight almost this one's kind of curved more modern for sure um it has a bigger touchpad on it and then the share and options buttons are like at an angle as well it's something i noticed um the playstation button is not an actual like circle now it is the logo and then that's just stuff i noticed right off the bat so the dual sense also something else <laughs> this controller here the, the picture that they tweeted is a white controller and then this one is a black controller this is the controller that the ps5 originally comes with or ps4 sorry um so we're not too sure what color the controller is gonna be so if the controller is white, will the PS5 be white? A lot of questions here. Um, just like you can buy a different color controller, maybe you can buy a black, black controller and then the white one is the one that comes with the PlayStation. We don't know. So I'm gonna give you guys some controller concepts here on screen, hopefully. Um, of people on reddit that have created them they're like different game based some of them look like the original playstation ones, which i think is pretty cool uh, di different color schemes stuff like that um ideas and mock-ups that people have created and hopefully if some stuff will come out like this we're not too sure so moving on to the next thing you can see on the controller if you zoom in that it does have a headphone jack um actually sony's um product or playstation's product manager uh, manager um confirmed that the dualsense did have an audio jack because some people didn't see it right off the bat for whatever reason um so it will have an audio jack for wired headphones if you are one of the people who didn't notice that um if you zoom in you can actually see it but here's an interesting thing we see a mute a mute logo with a button above that and then we have the playstation like um home button so this is your playstation home button and then right below it you just have your audio jack so what is this button so it actually got um confirmed that it will have a built-in microphone so you can mute it on your controller and you don't even have to have a headset plugged in so this way, I guess it's for gamers who want to like listen out of their TV, which <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it, um, but you can still chat. It's kind of like the PlayStation camera almost. It has a built-in microphone on it. I keep mine muted all the time, but um, I think that's pretty neat. Something else that's pretty cool about it is that the share button is actually going to be called a create button now not too sure what that is about um i guess to create your own videos and stuff like that hopefully they'll come out with a new video software because share factory it needs to be updated but that's just my opinion there so share button is now create button which is interesting 
It has a two, new two-tone color design, so it has like the white on the top and then kind of the black accents to it. Um, it has adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, <laughs> a rechargeable battery and wireless, which is exactly like the DualShock, and a new light bar and touchpad. So you can actually see that the touchpad is a little wider almost, and it has um, lighting underneath it. Whereas this one is just your rectangle and then the light is behind it on some controllers like this one you can see the light right there but that's not really anything i don't know that that was intentional so that's that um here's a view of the controller from the back so you can see where you're going to charge it i'm not too sure if that is a micro usb port or not it looks like one but we can't say that it is just like the apple products they like to change their chargers so you have to buy new chargers and the micro usb is actually really fairly common in your household so i wouldn't be surprised if the ps5 changed the charging so they can get that extra profit it would be smart but also very annoying um it almost looks like the l1 r r1 triggers are bigger Maybe that's just me, but see how small these are? Those definitely look bigger. And that's just what I noticed from this side. If we continue, uh, the official PS5 logo here. I'm sure you guys saw that in the thumbnail. And then, okay, so here is some designs that fans have came up with. So this is an idea of the console. Now, since we haven't actually got a release version of the console yet, nobody really knows. As you can see, this picture isn't completely accurate because the controller is off. Like, we know now that that controller is incorrect. But it's just an idea of what the PS5 may look like. So, while we're on the topic of the actual console, let's talk about some of the specs. Now, this may not be for everybody. It's, personally, I find specs boring, but I know that people care about this stuff, so here we go. So the CPU is actually going to be a Ryzen Zen 2 on it. It's going to be an x84, um, 64 AMD. It has 8 cores and 16 threads and up to 3.5 gigahertz on it. The GPU is a Randeon. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. I told you I find specs boring. Um, it's two base graphics with ray tracing, acceleration, variable frequency, and up to 2.23 gigahertz. The system memory is going to be 16 gigabytes, like just like the PS4, and so I'm sure they'll come out with like a PS5 Pro with m more memory on it. Um, and then it has up to 448 gigabytes per second bandwidth. Now the SSD is in 825 gigabyte and 5.5 gigabyte per second with a read bandwidth. Um, bandwidth, sorry. The PS5 game disc is going to be your traditional Ultra HD Blu-ray uh, and up to 100 gigabytes per disc. The video out is going to support 4K, uh, 120 hertz TVs, 8K TVs. That's new. It's going to support 8K um, and VR. The audio is going to be 3D audio. And honestly, I don't even know what 3D audio is. This is the first I've heard of it, and I think it's pretty neat, actually. It's called Tempest 3D Audio. I think that's pretty neat, actually. 3D audio, the concept of, like, it's all around you, almost, is what I think of. Because 3D, it's like, it pops out. So, I'm thinking audio, it kind of it feels like if something's, like, somebody in a shooting game, somebody's shooting to your left, it's actually... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like, uh, ho hopefully you guys get what I'm picking, or picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, so here's some more information from the official PlayStation website. So the launch date is actually going to be the holidays 2020. I'm assuming November because that's when all the PlayStations have released so far. I believe the PS5, uh, P PS4 launch date was November 15th, 2013. So it's been. It's going to be seven years coming up this November, so I'm sure they'll release it around then. Because holidays, you know, you got Thanksgiving there, and then the Black Friday. And that's when most parents like to shop, and Santa, you know. So, for Christmas, and Hanukkah, and all those other holidays that different religions celebrate. Okay, so basically this um, description here just says, 
We've begun to unveil more details behind the technical and hardware components that make PlayStation 5 such, a, such an innovative and powerful platform. The ultra high speed SSD integrated custom IO system, custom AMD GPU with ray tracing and highly immersive 3D audio. With these capabilities, PS5 will allow developers to maximize their creativity, building expansive words, worlds, sorry, and new play experiences in the games they design. So there we are with the, the creativity type thing with the share button turning into create. It's almost like they're kind of trying to inspire their buyers. Speaking of in the games they design, new games? Like I'm thinking whenever I think of a new game, I'm thinking of Grand Theft Auto 6. I don't know about you guys, I'm a huge Grand Theft Auto fan. And I beat five in like a month story mode. And I'm sure some of you guys can top that, but like I was addicted to that game and Grand Theft Auto 6, I would love to see it. So I'm thinking maybe since we got Red Dead 2 and then the PS5, we don't know, all right? <laughs> so, um, I have some controller details here. It's the Dual Sense will weigh more than the Dual Shock 4. It has an adaptive um, trigger, USB Type C. Uh, features haptic feedback, new speaker system, and a increased battery life. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry if that was kind of chopped up. I've tried to group it together as much as I could. But really, I just took screenshots and then up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys got some piece of information out of that. And I'm excited to see what Sony has to do. And I will update you guys as we get more information as well. So most of this is just kind of... Um, most of it is confirmed. But the other half of it is like this Reddit designs, like the controllers and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let me know your opinions down in the comments. Do you like this controller design? Is it too much like the Xbox since the Xbox Series X is coming out? Do we think PS5 is gonna, like, make a better profit than them? Speaking of profit, sorry, I almost forgot this. The PS4 uh, initially marketed, went on the market for $400. They're saying PS5 might cost more since um, tariff, since tariffs with China have increased. Sorry, so I'm saying the price is gonna be anywhere from 400 to 500 dollars. That's my guess. It could be over because there was some pre-order thing going on in Sweden and it was like a thousand US dollars but I don't know that, that that was legit because how can you pre-order something that we don't even know what if the console itself looks like you know um so I don't think it'll be a thousand dollars that seems a little ridiculous and I think Sony knows that they're not gonna make a profit especially with this Series X coming out if they retail this for a thousand dollars just people can't afford that people aren't gonna invest in that so that's that um i hope you guys went on to enjoy if you did of course be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new we are so incredibly close to 1000 subs i'm trying to hit it by the end of this month so if you can help me up there that would be greatly appreciated shout out to post notification squad you guys rock i love you all so so much and since school's out for the rest of the year i'm gonna be on this youtube grind i love you guys and thank you for watching until then take it easy peace